Yes, I know, I know. I should be preparing for my debate tonight on the non sequitur show against the mind of God. However, I just, uh, I had to do a video about this. The Flat Earth Conference 2018 has provided me with a bunch of glorious material for upcoming videos. However, the biggest news to come out of the largest collection of stupid on the planet is that Paul Logan has... Coming out of the Flat Earth closet. <laughs> Let's take a look at what he said. Um, okay, so first things first, I can't see any of you. It's, it's incredibly bright up here. <laughs> you, um, you can't see any of the audience. Well, if you're going to claim that you're a flat earther, one of the first things you should realize is that if you can't see it with your own eyes, it doesn't exist. But uh, thank you all for having me. The first day was absolutely incredible. Um, and I do want to give a special shout out to my friend Mike for being the catalyst to all this. Shout out, Mike. God damn it, Mike. Um, so I consider myself a man of truth. Man of truth. Your entire YouTube career is based on you lying and making fun of people. Uh, someone who hates being ignorant. I try my best to avoid being ignorant. And um, that's why I decided to come here. You don't like being ignorant, yet you've come to a Flat Earth conference. I do hope you see the irony there. Because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do this and if I'm gonna put my name out there, I want to know the facts, right? The fact that you know we haven't been to the moon in what over 50 years. That's right. We've not sent men to the moon in over 50 years. But why would we need to? We can only send people to look at the same rocks so many times. And why spend billions of dollars to send people there when we've got a bunch of satellites and stuff orbiting it that can show us what we need to know? That doesn't mean that NASA aren't in the process of creating new technology along with Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Oh, and probably more. Give us a few years, we'll be going back. The fact that uh, the moon emits its own light. No, no, the moon does not admit its own light. What you're referring to is called radiated cooling. Look it up or better yet, wait for one of my future videos of explaining stuff to flurfs. Some of their best scientists can't, they can't explain gravity. Uh, yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson, Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, Bill Nye. At the end of the day, do they even know? Yes. Yes, they do. The globe heads, is that what you guys call them? Yes, they do call us globe heads, you flattard. But yeah, man, if, if like I said, if I'm going to do this, and if I'm going to put my name out there, because I'm sure you guys know there's a stigma, there's a stigma with being a flat earther, and if, if I'm going to do it, I want to know, I want to know the facts. <sighs> The fact is, the Earth is a globe and you're a troll. I guess, I guess... Yes, you do guess. And every other flat earther. I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say my name is Logan Paul and I, I think I'm coming out of the flat earth closet. <laughs> did, uh, <laughs> did, did you just mic drop? Do you want to know what made that mic fall? Gravity, you fucking retard! Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? Gravity! Gravity! Guys, thanks for watching and thank you very much to all the subscribers that I have gained over the past couple of days. Tune in tonight at 1am GMT or 8pm EST to see me debate the mind of God live on the Non Sequitur Show. Thanks, and remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the Flat Earth.